Oh. So, the other night I tried to, because, uh, Batman Begins is on Netflix. Oh, is and it? And so, yes. And, and The Dark Knight is mm. on Netflix. So, I tried to watch Batman Begins, and I say tried, because I fell asleep mm -hmm. somewhere halfway through, I think. Um, but that has Scarecrow in it. Yep. And, man... Like, not only do I like the actor who plays Scarecrow in Batman Begins. Oh, yeah, he does a I good job. Like, I like the idea of of Scarecrow. It's just such a, like, such an interesting concept. Um, which maybe one day I can turn into a D&D &D villain. Ah. That'd be fun. Oh, but now that you've refreshed yourself, what do you think about it from a film angle? Because I rated this a certain way because of because of how things played out. What do you think of it from, like... So, like I said, I fell asleep halfway through. Right. That 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 is in no way a reflection on the movie, because I was definitely engrossed in it. And it was like one of those things where I don't feel tired at all, and the next thing I know, it's like four o'clock in the morning, and I need to, you know, just hop over to my bed. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I, I think it was really well done. Um, like, I don't know, I feel like it, like, I feel like not knowing anything about Batman or or any superhero type thing, I think that the movie holds on its own. Like it it is you could go in with zero comic knowledge and understand I think everything that's happening. Oh yeah, I think that's super important. I agree. Um and, and and they don't they 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 have the origin in a way where it's not like just a flashback at the very beginning and that's it like it's actually part of kind of his growth um, yeah it's really interesting um, I, I think it's probably one of the better um, Batman movies. Okay, I take um, that. I agree. Though I, I do have to preface that as well by saying that I have not seen all of the Batman films. <laughs> um, I had two though, major gripes with that movie. Really? What is what is your gripes? Uh, one, the sound design is not good. Really? Uh, there were many times where things were muffled unnecessarily, and you're like, why can't I understand the dialogue? Mm. Um, one too many times when it was honestly just two characters on screen like why why is this so difficult to understand and it wasn't I thought it was a TV thing it was not it just so happened that they're just mumbling for some reason or there's too much bass so it doesn't sound right I wonder if I wonder if that is something that I've just never picked up on because I've, I, growing up in a family of six, subtitles are always on. Ah. Because someone is going, getting up, getting ice, you know, mm -hmm. at the fridge, going ahead and, you know, someone asking, well, wait, is he the bad guy? Well, I don't know. We're watching that together. Gotcha. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, so, like, I've just always had where, like, subtitles are kind of, like, a default on. Which probably made it easier for me to transition to, like, watching anime a lot more. Um, that I was just used to reading subtitles. Gotcha. Uh, it probably made me faster at reading, too. Oh, it definitely taught me how to read. <laughs> um, especially anime, because, man, they talk fast, and then you just have to keep up um 
But yeah, like I, I never noticed that part of it. Mm -hmm. Um, it was it was a struggle because yeah. I I thought it was just me and like uh, it's not <laughs> mm. from a critical standpoint. And that was one thing. The other thing was uh, I feel like there there was no care when they filmed it about transitioning through scenes like something would happen and then immediately we're somewhere else doing something else and it was not a smooth transition it almost felt jarring how the scene just ends mm. several times um do you remember that scene where uh he is in i guess the himalayas or wherever they are and they're fighting on the ice and the guy is like never let down your guard and he taps the ice and he falls in yeah so that scene you expect it to be okay it's very jarring yes they cut away immediately it's that same cut throughout the entire movie mm. and that's not something that you would notice if you you know if you don't edit if you don't notice those things yeah but as now someone who does that more than regularly i'm like wow why did they do that to the point where it's throwing me off mm. it takes me out of the movie which i was surprised that is that is really interesting have you heard of the podcast beyond the screenplay i have uh i really enjoy they they had uh three episodes of it dedicated to each of the Dark Knight series. Mm -hmm. and, and and they have very interesting thoughts about it. Um, highly recommended to anyone okay. uh, who wants to, to, to hear it, because I, I feel like these people actually can uh, put into words what I like some things that are felt and like some things I didn't notice that I felt until like hearing it out loud and going oh yeah <laughs> well what um, do you know yeah cause for me I'm very bad with like rating films and stuff like it's gotta be really bad for me to um notice uh -huh. like and, and, and to be able to articulate why I don't like something because for the most part, I'm like, how does that? How does the movie feel? Um, and 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 so I'll be like, oh yeah, it was a good movie, when it might not be objectively a good movie. <laughs> yeah, it um, might not be a technical marvel. Yeah, but I but enjoyed it's just it. Like, yeah, it's like it's like most of the Mission Impossible movies are not technical marvel marvels, mm -hmm. you know. But I enjoy them because they are exactly what they go out to be. And that's the same argument that I use for um, Geostorm. It's a bad film, yes. But it's exactly what it set out to be. It's a cheesy disaster flick. Right. Um, and, uh, and so, like, going forward, you know, it's just like I'm like, all right, I... Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm just like, yeah, I like the movie, you know. Oh, did you did you hate how, like, they did this? And I was like, oh, I was just kind of like, for the most of the movie, like, ooh, pretty colors. <laughs> uh, you know, and it's like, oh, well. This, I get that, this though. Is, this is why Noah calls me a bad film student. Well, no, I, I feel like um, that gets forgotten a lot, like, as, as I guess... Uh, ahead of its time as your movie is did you enjoy watching it you know because yeah uh, your movie unless it is a documentary needs to be entertaining or else why did you make it I would argue that documentaries need to be entertaining as well <laughs> sometimes life just isn't that entertaining I get that sometimes it's just you know very sad no I think every documentary needs to be entertaining because otherwise Otherwise, you have things like Disney Plus has a documentary about Pompeii. Mm -hmm. Very interesting subject, not an interesting documentary. Oh. 
Only, only because, like, I feel like they, they kind of, like, repeated a lot of the same stuff. And it's an hour and a half that could easily have been a half an hour. Gotcha. Um, and it's just, like, some of the visuals are cool, but it was just a lot of fluff. And, yeah. But, yeah, no, I get what you mean. Like, you know, a lot of people do forget the fact that films are supposed to be entertaining first. So, you know, that's like, that's like, what's it called? Um, uh, built this city. You know, we built this city. Uh -huh. Is like known as the worst song in history. Is it really? Like, apparently, because it's like the chord, the, it's so simple of a song and it's repetitive and yada yada, stuff like that. What? Um, but the thing is, is, you know, if you ask anyone to sing, you know, Built This City, 95% of people would be able to. They would remember the song, you know. Oh. I knew it was going to happen, too. Yeah. You're just in this I room had a for bad so feeling. long. <laughs> If I was invisible. Alright, I'm gonna look up the invisibles to see if they have any weaknesses. I could just tell you where I stand. I would be the smartest man if I was invisible. Wait, I already am. Fights with invisibles can be made easier through the use of thunder, gravity, and arrow magic. Once an invisible uses its ring of fire attack, the player should time their jump right to avoid the attack, since dodge rolling requires more strict, if not impossible, timing to avoid it. Oh. This gives the player to attack the invisible and ultimately defeat it. Oh. Well then, I feel like a pro. Cause I've been dodge rolling out of those circles. Oh, I did it. I didn't notice that. Wait, are we like? Yeah, I think so. We did it? Yeah. Oh, well, hold on. I'm gonna have to put the plate down. <laughs> How am I gonna? Well, hello everyone. Welcome to here. We, uh, we did a whole heckin' fight and it was quite the thing. It was heckin' But now we're gonna long. walk That's through the door. Yeah. Oh. So what's next? Look at this. Look at this breath of fresh air. Oh my goodness. Please. Just getting through the 
the the stupid and I love how you learned that tidbit so you just Marcus just learned that using dodge roll out of the invisible's ring of fire is quote impossible near impossible due to yeah. um, the timing needed and he's and that's how he's been doing it all this time right oh I'm just gonna take a, a magic shower real quick hmm Wash the, wash the evil off of me. No, what it's washing is all that salt. You oh, you were well, salty at that room. I w yeah, like why would you put that many invisibles together anyway? I think you huh? I think you had a message for the developer that decided that that was okay. <laughs> Sir or ma'am, thank you for the challenge. Uh, that is not what he. That is <laughs> that is not. <laughs> What's wrong? Don't you hear something? You said you would thank them with your fist. There. Yes, a fist bump. We talked about it. Then we went into... Fist bump is an anime theme song, yeah. No, no. Careful. This is the last haven you'll find here. What is it, Toriel? Beyond. No. Is that, Toriel that's is the very voice you're starting to give. <laughs> there you're is no it. light to protect you. There is no light to protect you. But don't be afraid. But don't be afraid. <laughs> Your heart is the mightiest weapon of all. Remember, you're the one who will open the door to the light. I am the all-powerful being. <laughs> Toriel, you're coming from different video games to guide me? Thanks, Goat Mom. I don't hear anything. Well, Donald... Well, thanks for waiting until they were done. <laughs> Strange. That voice was so familiar. Maybe it's just my imagination. Maybe you'd better take a rest. Maybe I'd better. So this is the last door, right? This is it. This that that door leads to end game. There's no coming back from that. So door. now that you've just spent a lot of time, well, okay, let's be honest. It wasn't like a lot of time to get to the end. That was a lot of time to get to a save point. Because <laughs> yes. we both mm -hmm. had a realization where the save the save for the if we were to stop and 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 turn off the game the save for for it would be before uh, the fight with the devil. I know he's got an actual name, but um, <laughs> it's it's the devil. Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh, you got some good thunder gun. Yeah, but like all the fire a gun, blizzard gun, and thunder gun uh, rings would take up all of your money. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not that in need of elemental safety. Yeah. What do you call it? Not unless there was like one that just did all of it. Ansem's not an elemental user. No. I still can't do any no, of this. No, he's not. Yeah. Um, okay, so what's next here? Uh, we have the uh, Dalmatians to find. Correct. We have the Moogle shop. Obviously, when we get the ingredients, we have the Colosseum. And then that's it. But, that's all we have left to do. And the Colosseum might be easier once we go ahead and maybe level up slash get the ultimate Keyblade. Yes, could be could be slightly easier so we know that that comes after Ultima Keyblade mm -hmm. um, the Dalmatians are in Hollow Bastion ah yes let's go let's uh, visit really quickly yeah so let me pull up um Dalmatians Kingdom Hearts 1. But, yeah. How long were you trying for that room? Uh, it had to be another 20 minutes. Really? Another 25 minutes. This is what we go through for you people. <laughs> Where are we Was it closer to the Castle Chapel? Uh, hold on, I'm pulling that up. Hollow Bastion... The Grand Hall. 
Okay. So as, as terms of where that is, I don't know. Oh, you see that? Oh. <laughs> we also have to do that. Is that? Oh boy. Is that a secret boss? Yes. Oh, those are fun. Don't forget those. I like the one in Agraba. He's got a cool design. He does. Oh, actually, it's this is the Grand Hall, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna have to. You're gonna have to clear the room anyway. Everybody out! You it's probably time use fire. to go. Probably use fire or gravity or something on them. Not on the wizards. Oh, the wizards are immune to magic. Not the dang whiz robes. Oh, you can use stop though. Okay, apparently they're not immune to, immune to magic. Oh, That's no, they're great. dead. Yeah. Yeah. At, at a certain point, it's just overkill. Ow! I don't even know what shot me. I don't know. Oh. What is hitting me? I have no idea, and I'm confused. Apparently, Goofy just got hit by the same thing. What is that? Is there an invisible enemy? That's true invisibility, though. No way. Unless it's the the cauldrons are doing something. You might need to just use fire on him. Are, are you doing the jump fire just because it's cool? I'm doing the jump fire not to get hit by the invisible thing. Oh, it is an invisible thing. It's an invisible thing. Oh. It's really not there. <laughs> Can you attack it? I don't know. Oh my gosh, and both Donald and Goofy are dead. Taken out by whatever it is. I can't even lock onto it. You, well, you were locking onto it. Okay, so I guess it's gone. What? Maybe it's only when other Heartless are around? That's crazy. I don't... I don't know I didn't know is. anything about that. That's interesting. Though you are very strong right now. Me? Yeah, like you were. You just took out that whiz. I want to call it a whiz robe. Uh, yeah, it's not a whiz robe, but it's it's a whiz robe. Yeah, it's a whiz in a robe. So yeah, mm -hmm. I assume we could call it whiz robe. Now, as far as Woo. where in this room it is, I have no idea. That was a cool aerial uh, combo. Yeah, I added a couple things. Um, none of the things that take up my magic, but I added. A cup. Oh, there it is. Is that it? All right, book it. Nice. You have them all now. All of them? I'm. Yeah. Oh, top dog. There it is. You doubted me? Uh, not you. Me mostly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm just gonna. It is interesting <laughs> that it's just like a black void, like just a straight cut, no fade, no nothing. Yeah. You can only do so much with these graphics. I get it. I know, but like, look and at even these. These are faded. That's true. So I wonder if it was a graphical bug. I wonder if that enemy that that kept hitting us wasn't meant to be invisible. Oh. Do you think it was from? Do you think it was the same in the PS2 version though? I don't know. Or is this like a new development? That's the first time I've ever encountered something like that. I can't believe that happened. I'm like dumbfounded. So now that you've, um, yeah, once you have all 99 puppies, you get some pretty cool stuff. All right, puppies, let's go pet them. Which also would probably, which actually probably would have made that room that you made, like went in a, a little easier. But uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna say that. I did it without it. You did, mm -hmm. you did do it without it, and I'm very proud of you. Thank um, you. Oh no, the sniper monkey! Don't look at it. Oh, no. It sees you. Getting out. Okay. okay. Whew. Uh, I thought. Oh, oh, okay. I was about to say I thought there was a an entrance somewhere else, but. There are, there, yeah, there's two. 
They're giving you a present. Oh, thank you, pups. Don't bark at my present. It's incredibly rude. <gasps> oh, and here's the all of them. I love it. If this was an actual house, this would not be a fun time. No, this no, no. This would be really messy and really smelly. Well, but from a distance. And also, you gotta think, like, in, like, what, a year? How just of a madhouse that would be? Yeah. Adult dogs everywhere. Oh, look at them. Ultima G. Ultima? Tech boost. Tech boost. Oh, yeah, that would have been nice. And all the gummies. All of them. Yeah, you got one of each gummy. Let's just walk through the house real quick, because, I mean, look. Look at them. Oh, man. No lint brush in the world could stand up to this. Oh, no. And Dalmatians have thin fur, right? Yeah. But they shed. Well, they no, sure that's what shed. I mean, like... It's not, like, big, coarse hair. It's... Aww. What are they watching? They would watch the Canine Crunchies ad. Crunchies is the champion of all dog biscuits. Canine Crunchies can't be beat. They make each meal a special treat. Happy dogs are dogs who eat new treats as Canine Crunchies. Oh. Oh, I was thinking of the Canine Advantix commercial. Oh. You know, the hello sure, mother. Sure, yeah, that too. Hello, father. Move these sticks, mosquitoes. Really bother. <laughs> Alright, so what's left? What else is left besides Ultima Keyblade? Uh, I got everything from. I think I got everything from these guys. Uh. Oh, yes, yes, because the fairy godmother gave me Donald's thing. Yes. He gave me my keyblade, so we're good. We're good here. Okay. So So next up is Well, look, can you access your Jiminy journal from here or do you have to land somewhere? I have to land. Oh, okay. So uh, let's just land here. Warp drive cuz why would we ever go anywhere on foot? <laughs> that's enough. That that's a completionist journey to do those uh, gummy missions. No, we're not here we're for okay. that right now. No, <laughs> I'm okay. I'm I'm all for that 100. percent But no, I'm okay. Oh yay! So, an Ansem report we can't get until we go like we actually beat the game, right? Um, we're missing two, four, six. Uh oh, we're missing. Oh, wow. So, I actually do remember uh, getting a whole bunch of them at once, so maybe that's later. Okay. Wait, it can't be. What do you mean? It can't be later, because there's just something we're missing. Well, um, just to... No, I don't, I don't, oh my goodness, this wiki is giving me each of them, like, labeled out, like, like, oh, like, no. like, what they are. All right, so hold on. Let's pause for a second. Okay. We'll be right back. All right. Hey, Marcus. Hey. Uh, I found out who has our reports. Who's got them? So, a bunch of people, but mainly I need you to go to Hollow Bastion. Oh, okay. Off to Hollow Bastion we go. Where one person has hoarded a bunch of reports from us. What? Mm-hmm. Okay. On purpose. On purpose? Yeah. I think we should kill How this. dare? I think we should kill this person. Uh-oh. If not, someone else surely will. Well, where uh, do we go? The library? Mm. Okay. It doesn't say where this person is. 
I'm gonna assume the library because everywhere else is teeming with death. We need to find people. Here's Belle. No. Wrong, wrong no. person. We're not gonna murder Belle. No. Okay. Ah, uh, hi, She's Windows. definitely not of this world. Nope. Oh, here's Leon. Nope. Getting closer, though. Uh, there oh, she hey. is. You. You. Sora, you should read this. Read what? It's the rest of Ansem's report. Maleficent must have collected it. Yep. So she gives us two, four, six, ten. Wait. Where's eight? Oh. Uh, eight, eight we're not going to get for a while. Uh, in fact, really? I have bad news. Uh-oh. Eight you get after winning the Hades Cup. Okay. Uh, That's fine. Eleven you get after defeating Kurt uh Kurt Ziza. Oh. In in Agrava. Oh. Thirteen is unknown here in Hollow Bastion. Oh. And twelve is Mr. One Winged Angel. I see. Yeah. Well it's important. We have to get the lore. We do have to get the lore. Plus I guess we'll just not read it until then. Yeah. Oh because my gosh. I wanna we we gotta take a look at it. I'm very interested. So now that Aerith has given up all of her reports, what do we have what do we have left? Besides we have... besides doing the ultimate keyblade grind. That's all we have left. That and the secret bosses and the tournaments. I see. So, is this a, an, an early episode and then we'll catch everyone on the live stream? Like an er, like It a, will have to be. Yeah. So, guys, look out for a live stream in which... Uh, we will definitely need your help to collect all of the uh, materials and things for uh, synthesizing everything to get the Ultima Keyblade. Uh, basically, we want to get an Ultima Keyblade as soon as possible. Yes. And now is the time. And now, now is yeah, the grind. It has to be. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, look out. Uh, look out for that and the best way to look out is if you are subscribed or uh, or if you hit, hit the bell you'll get a notification every time we post a video and uh, and, and yeah so uh, I guess we'll see you then see you next time bye